How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going trout fishing. We're switching things up. Uh, I decided not to go crappie fishing and the walleye and perch bite has been mad lately. So I decided to come out trout fishing. You guys have been recommending it down in the comments down below. We're going to do a little catch clean cook action later, but we got the shack set up. Anyways, I do want to give a big shout out to Mr. Tackle Box. They are today's video sponsor right here. We got this month's box and it actually just came in like two days ago. So I haven't opened it yet. I'm excited to see what they got in here. So if you guys don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, they're a monthly subscription based company. Basically once you get a subscription, they send you this little box every month full of baits. So if you guys want to get a Mystery Tackle Box, use code MINDEC at their checkout and you will be getting your first box for as low as $5. So, I mean, it's a pretty good deal. There's a lot of baits in here. We're going to get right into it. Enough talking. So the first thing that comes in the box is the Dibbles Tips and Tricks. And uh, basically it just tells you how much of good fishing stuff. You can read through that if you want. But first thing in our box, we got some Lin line right here. This is pretty good stuff for ice fishing. It's five pound test, which is perfect for ice fishing. Second thing in the box, we got a Euro Tackle Crazy Critter. This thing looks pretty juicy. We might have to tie one of these on. I like the red color on it and we just spilled everything in the box. God dang it. But these will definitely work today. Third thing in our box, we got a Kender Tungsten. It's just a little fly as you guys can see. This would actually work pretty well today too. These would definitely work for panfish and trout for sure. No doubt about it. All right, here we got a Northland Tackle Fireball Jig. Uh, it's a little tungsten, it's a UV glow color as you guys can kind of see there. This will definitely work. I have caught fish on this in the past. Our fourth lure here is a Live Spoon right here by Euro Tackle. It looks pretty juicy. This one honestly catch trout here too. Next thing up, we got a Lindy Tungsten Toad. This little guy right here. This is definitely gonna work if you wanna tip it with a little wax worm or even that plastic that we got from Euro Tackle. That would pair up perfect for any kind of fishing. Next up, we got the Coconut Crab from 13 Fishing. These plastics have worked in the past for me, but for trout, they're a little bit bulky. Um, if you get aggressive perch or other stuff like walleyes, they will definitely hit this, no doubt about it. And then next up, we got the Tungsten Ice Worm. Uh, this is more for like a bobber. You could jig with it, but I think it's more of a bobber thing where you just put a minnow on it and you call her good. We got another Lindy Tungsten Lure, man. You can't go wrong with tungstens. And then we got some Widowmaker Tungstens as well. They're kind of like a blue chrome color. These look really juicy. We might have to tie one of these on, honestly. I'm really liking how small these are. These would pair up perfect with the wax worm or the plastic. And then it shows you what's inside of your box right here and uh, gives you all the names and how much each lure costs. So if you ask me, you're getting a pretty good deal. So if you guys do want to go get a Mr. Tackle Box, the link is down below. Go check them out. And don't forget to use code MINDEC if you want to get your first box for as low as $5. Anyways, we're going to get right into fishing and uh, strap on the GoPro and show you guys what I'll be using. Alrighty. Time to open up the rod case, get a rod out. We're just going to go with this little frostbite one right here. Right now we actually do have a tungsten on that we got in last month's Mr. Tackle Box. So we are going to be swapping that one out with one of the ones that we got from today. Maybe, or maybe we're going to start aggressive with the frostbite lure first. And then if we're not liking the dinner bell, we might switch up to the tungstens that we got. It is 10 feet right here. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay. Now it's time to get rigged up. I just want to see if we can't get any aggressive ones because that's my favorite way of fishing them. They will slurp down the tungstens pretty fast and pretty hard. But I like watching them chase. The fish are just traveling through here. They're not really just sitting in one spot. Trout are pretty active. They're swimming all over the place. So I think if we can get their attention from far away with the uh, good old shiny frostbite lures here. So we just got this gold dinner bell, got this nice silver little blade in there to make it shine. And uh, basically this will just sit there and flutter and uh, give off good action. And the trout seem to love it a lot this year. Uh, this is what I've been using the last couple of years here and they've just been loving it. Let's find our Euro Tackle Crazy Critter right here. Put one of these suckers on. We got a cracker open here. Okay. There we go. Oh God, yeah, look at that little thing. It is a funky looking lure there. I think what we're gonna do is trim her up. We're just gonna rip some of the ligaments off of this guy. Um, I'm liking, I think we're gonna cut off that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, and that guy. So basically now we're just left with that. 
and uh, this is still pretty long so I think we're just gonna rip off a little piece just like that and now we're left with that so I think this will work it'll look like a little waxy down there or spike nice and red there we go it's gonna look like that and that is gonna be dancing around there old son oh god yeah that looks really good now all we have to do is just drop her down see if we can't get whacked instantly that would be freaking awesome wouldn't it so what i like to do is when i got the dinner bell rigged on i just like to give her big rips from the bottom and all the way up to the middle of the water column these trout circle everywhere in the water column sometimes they're very sometimes they're on the very bottom sometimes they're up high so we're just gonna be jigging all over the place if we see a mark up high obviously we're gonna chase up to it and see if they whack it but we're just gonna be fishing and i'll see you guys if we ever see a fish Oh, there we go. I didn't even mark him. That boy came out of nowhere. Try many. Okay. Well, gonna wet the hands here for this little guy. Chill, my dude. Chill. Here we go. Our first little trout. Just a small, little long boy here. We're gonna let him back in the water right away to make sure he'll be all right. Buddy, you're going the wrong way. Okay, there you go. See you later. Thank you for biting. He came out of nowhere and destroyed it. I didn't even mark him. I just felt a doink all of a sudden. That's what I love about these trout, man. My freaking dinner bell with a little spike there. Now my hands are all slimy. That was sweet. That was right away, man. That was almost instantly, too. First five minutes. All right. It's been a while. These fish are just not having it. I think it's time to chop that off put that back I think we're gonna use the Widowmaker tungsten just like that there we go all right we got tungsten and some dead waxies on that should do the trick if they don't want this and I don't know what they'll want but it should do the trick right here, even for the little fish down there. Maybe see what they are, if they're crappie, bluegill, bass, I don't know. Instant fish coming up to it. Oh, what's happening? Bro! That's messed up, man. Smacks it twice doesn't get it that's messed up we're dropping back down we're gonna get him this time oh dude what no he just popped off there's multiple fish down there i saw a little mark literally right below the ice and i was like oh i'll just hand line it to see if there's actually any fish down there well i doubt you guys could see it because i was hunched over but there's a freaking fish literally right at the bottom of the hole there I hooked them and then I saw one at the very bottom of the back. So they're here, they're around. I'm just cheeks. There's like 20 fish on the screen right now, dude. I'm wrapped up in the vex. There we go. On the drop, dude. I was gonna say there's like 20 fish down there, but there's all little trout. It's a nice little guy. We're gonna get him back in the water. See you later, my dude. That's cool. On the drop. I don't even know where my lure's at. Oh, he's on it. Instant. No, he popped off. Bro, he's still down there though. That's good. Probably eat it again, honestly. Drop back right down on him. Oh, there's multiple. Oh no, I just botched that one. Here comes one. Coming up hard for it. The littlest bite, dude. He's gonna eat it again. There's like two of them down there. I might not have any bait. There we go. He was up high. Oh god, yeah. Throw me here a little soon. Nice little trout there. We're gonna get him back in. 
There you go. We'll see you later, my dude. All right. Sweet. We are catching fish like none other right now. We're getting action, old son. That's what we like to see. I'm not marking one at the moment. I don't mean there's... Oh, yeah, there's one down there. We're going to catch him. These fish are just so aggressive. There we go. There's so many fish down there, dude. Oh, that's a better one. He'll eat. Okay, now we're getting places. Oh, God, yeah. Look at this guy. He's going to eat. We're going to keep him. All right. There's still fish down there, but it's just going to be slapped on the ice there. I need to wash my hands off. They're getting some wacky slush action. Let's uh, get a little size reference for the trout here with the Mr. Tackle Box. It ain't the biggest trout I've ever caught out of here, but I don't think it's too small. And there he is. 11 and a half tail pinch. 11 and a half inch trout. That's not that bad. I mean, I've caught smaller. We were catching smaller ones earlier. That ain't a bad one. I will leave right now. Because oh, I suck? Yeah. That's tough. <laughs> Dustin just clap them all or what? Yeah. There we go. Little guy. Just a little itty bitty guy. Little guy. Going back in all soon. See you later. That's all we're doing right there. A couple waxies. Send her down. I like to do my waxies in a teeth shape. So one's laying like this and one's laying like that. It gets good action both ways. Alright, this is where we're going to end the fishing portion of today's video. Now we're going to head back to the house and make up some fish. I'm not really sure on how we're going to cook it quite yet. I'm going to do some research. See what we can do. Caught some fish. We had some action there right away. And uh, then we got like three fish back to back to back. Just like that. A lot of fun. We are going to go head back to the house and I'll see you guys there. Well, well, well. We finally made it back here to the house. We got our lovely trout. He is freaking cold. He is freezing up my hand. But we are moving on to the cleaning portion of this video. We got to clean this sucker. It's pretty easy to clean trout. All we're going to do is come up here. Grab this little Walmart bag. All right, it's gonna be really simple. I'm gonna show you guys. You're gonna cut off the head. Just cut the head off right here. Find the poop hole. Follow the poop hole up just like that. I'm gonna do that real quick. And I'll show you guys the after product. Here is the after product. Look at this beautiful trout. Beautiful colors on it, but that does not matter. It does not mean it's gonna taste good. With running water, all you do is go like this and you get everything out of there. I did miss a little bit as you guys can see in there, but that is the bloodline and that's our finished product. I figured out how I'm going to cook it. We're going to be making homemade sushi for the first time ever. Never did it. And uh, this time it's going to be cooked because I guess you can't eat raw freshwater fish. Isaac and I learned that the hard way last year. Um, so yeah, we're going to let this guy rest, throw in the fridge. We're going to start making some rice. You guys just stay tuned. All right, we got our rice pot. We got some rice in a bag here. We're not going to need a whole lot of rice. Not a very big fish, just a nice little cup, throw her in there, and bam, we got the rice. All we need to do is throw her in the rice cooker here, there we go, plug her in, just like that, and yeah, now she's ready to go, we're just going to go down to cook, put the lid on top, it takes about 20-30 minutes to cook rice, it doesn't take very long, we did not make a lot of rice. So yeah, that's all we're going to do, we're going to let the rice cook and I will see you guys when the rice is done cooking. Alright, we got our lovely rice cubes right here, as you guys can see it's a nice biteable size, and then we got our lovely trout, and then we got a pan heating up with some butter. Alright, we got our lovely trout right here, we just put some butter in there, we are going to season her up with a lot of seasonings. I'll go through the seasonings in just a little bit. Alright, we got our trout right here. All seasoned up. Throw her in the pan there. There we go. Might have to add a little bit more butter in there once we get going here, but that's it for the seasonings. Plain and simple. We're gonna add some lemon juice on her in just a little bit. Shep is making here some mac and cheese with tuna in it. So good. You gotta comment down below if you've ever had it. It's fire. Can't be good. No Trust shot. I, it, it, tuna? It is gas. Ooh, not so a big fan good. of tuna. But. So good. Trout though? Mm-hmm. You gonna try some? Basically, we're just going to let that cook. We got it in medium-high heat, and she should be ready to flip when the skin gets all nice and golden crispy. And you can always take a look in here, and you can see that meat get a little bit more white. Then you know it's ready to flip. Here's our lovely trout. She is a little crispy because I do want to put the skin on top of the rice here. All I did was peel back some of the skin here, 
and all this stuff should be pretty bone free basically should just come right off just like that shouldn't be any bones in there we're just gonna place her just like that get a little piece of the skin place her just like that oh god yeah look at that sushi old son oh golly obviously you gotta add the best soy sauce there is out there we're just gonna drizzle a little bit on there we got our homemade sushi right here trout sushi cheers boys Mm. That's good. That's really good. Look at that meat. Nice white flaky meat. We're gonna go in with just the meat. Cheers this time. Trout is good. It's not bad. Not awful. That's a good looking chunk of meat and skin. So we're just gonna place her on top again. Just. Don't know what's happening to the camera here, but that was really good. Wow. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. If you guys do want to check out Mystery Taco Box, like I said, their link is down below. Use code MINDAC to get your first box for $5. That is it anyways. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.